Hi, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to create a short cargo pants. You're going to need your sewing machine, some fabric, scissors, a measuring tape, a wool, a powered wool, pins, a paintbrush, a safety pin, and some matching thread. Starting with the belt, you're gonna measure where you want your pants to start, making sure it goes through your hips area, then divide by two so you will end up with the front and back panels. I also measure how large I want the belt to look like. For the straps that's gonna go inside the belt, I took once again the same measure and add 12 inches. Don't forget to add 1.5 inches of seam allowance on each side of every panel. For the length of the legs, I measure from where I want the pins to start, right under the belt to where I want it to stop, right before the belt we're gonna add on the end of the pins. Once again, don't forget to add the seam allowance. Moving on to the pockets, for the front ones, I measure the width and the length I want them to look like and do the same for the back pockets, adding seam allowance on every piece. Regarding the belt on the end of the pants, I measure where I want the pants to stop, making sure it goes through your calves and divide by two to end up with the front and back panels. For the strap that's gonna go inside, I repeat the exact same step, but this time instead of divided, I add 6 inches. For the front and back legs panels, you can follow pants you already own if it's easier for you like I just did here. Don't forget to add seam allowance. For the other pieces, I follow my own measurements. I started with the straps from the hips area. Then the belt from the hips area. I continued with the straps from the end of the pins. I moved on with the belt from the end of the pins, making sure to place it two times knowing the fact we are gonna need four of them. I pursue with the thumb pockets, which once again, I place them two times. And I ended with the back pockets. After that, you can finally cut all the pieces. Starting with the straps by folding them, then sew at 0.5 inches from the edge. You're gonna sew across one short side and then down the whole length of one long side and leave the other short and open. When it's done, you will take a paintbrush and put it on the close end and use a bit of pressure. Then you grab the fabric and start pulling it over the top and you just keep pulling. Mm -hmm. 
you will end up with clean edges and no seam lines. Moving on to the belts, you're gonna sew on each side, making sure the good side of her seam. To overlock, you can use a soldier or a zigzag stitch like I did here. For the front pocket, I'm gonna mark on the front length panel the width of the pocket which for me is 2 inches and the length at 4 inches and I connect them together. Then I'm gonna cut it to create the opening for the pocket. After that, I'm gonna connect the front length panel to the lining of the pocket and I'm gonna cut following the line of the front length panel. When it's done, I'm gonna sew in an L shape the front pocket to the lining pocket. Personally, I decided to run up my pockets. To prevent any frame, you can overlock the pockets. After that, you can sew the straight line of the lining pocket to the leg front panel. Once we turn, to secure the pocket, you can sew along the line. Regarding the back pocket, you can overlock in a U-shape. When it's done, you're gonna fold it at 1.5 inches. For the front side, you can double fold it and sew this side only. You can now take the leg back panel and put the back pockets where you want them to be and you're gonna sew in a U shape once again. For this step, you're gonna make sure the good side of the front leg panel and the back leg panel are facing each other and you're gonna sew down the sides and overlock them. When it's done, on the end of the legs you'll sew a straight line at 0.2 inches making sure you're leaving some thread at the beginning and at the end and make sure not to backstitch. Then you're gonna gently pull the thread until it gathers enough to fit the lower belts.
First, we're gonna sew the lower belt to the legs, making sure the good side of the seam. To create the opening for the straps, you're gonna materialize where you want the opening to be and make sure to leave enough room so the straps can go through. For the opening, you can use the butter hole function or the zigzag stitch. Make sure you are doing it on the good side. Double fold the lower belt and sew along. When it's done, you're gonna take your safety pin so you'll be able to pass the strap inside the belt. To close the strap, you're gonna fold it and sew. You can finally join the legs together and for that you're gonna pass one leg to one another, good side facing and sew down the curve and overlock it. Now that you have your pants, you can now sew the belt to it, making sure the good side of the seam. Once again, to create the opening for the strap, you're gonna repeat the exact same step you did for the lower belt, making sure this time it is perfectly centered on the front. To close the belt, you will also repeat the same process you did for the lower belt.
finally, with the help of your safety pin, you're gonna be able to pass the strap inside the belt. And here you finally have it. I hope you enjoyed and it made sense. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and give a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day, take care, and I will see you in my next video.